Hello you awesome people and welcome to this lecture. We are here to explore a fascinating application that we have developed to leverage the power of ChatGPT. We will dive into how ChatGPT can be a valuable asset for DevOps professionals by performing various DevOps tasks on this application. Why I am showing you already developed application? Well, this is because I am trying to help you learning things from DevOps perspective. Let's clarify the role of a DevOps person. They play a crucial role in taking the code created by the developers and applying it to various scenarios such as different products, new projects or maintaining existing applications. This role often involves complex tasks where additional support and clarity can be incredibly beneficial. As a DevOps engineer, you will not be programming the applications from scratch and this is why we are having this already developed application trying to mimic the exact scenario, you know. Now let me tell you an interesting fact. The very application we are discussing right now was exclusively created with the assistant of none other than ChatGPT. Can you believe that? It is very straightforward. It is just about knowing right way to ask for help. And you can get it done in no time with the help of generative AI. I simply provided the design and requirements and ChatGPT generated the code resulting in what you see on your screen. So in this case what we did is we specified we are interested in developing a flask web application and in the response we got these instructions that we can follow. After that we asked for sample html for an e-commerce application. This is what ChatGPT gave us. So we duplicated this product div and accordingly we have to change the image source also. And this CSS is required to make our web page look better. Yes. Once this CSS part is done, I used another Gen AI tool called Doll E, which is used for generating images. So all of the images that you have seen in this e-commerce application are generated with the help of Doll E application. Once all of this is done, we need to start our application. We needed instructions from ChatGPT. So this is the prompt we provided. We need instructions on where to place the CSS, images and HTML as well as our Python script needs to be placed in some file. So this is the directory structure provided to us. We followed these instructions and in the end we just have to run this command to see our application live in the browser. Yes, I am making this document available to you for reading as well as you can try these prompts for the programming language of your choice. Yes. And all of this took around 90 minutes in total. Now I don't want to go into in-depth technical details for development of this application because we are trying to understand how DevOps professional can harness the power of ChatGPT to become more productive, efficient and creative. Yes. For a DevOps professional, it is essential to grasp the functionality of this application. While ChatGPT doesn't possess the ability to scan your entire code repository and generate detailed documentation, maybe in a couple of years we can anticipate such a feature also. But what you can do with ChatGPT right now is take a piece of code and go to ChatGPT prompt ask it to explain that code and ChatGPT can do a wonderful job for you here. This piece of code is not that big so I'll take entire code section. I'm copying everything from this going to ChatGPT. I'll paste this code here and without asking for anything I am just pressing enter or sending this uh, prompt to ChatGPT asking its help here right. You can notice ChatGPT has is smart enough to understand that hey I am not asked any instruction here so most probably the user is seeking code explanation here and it has already started explaining the code. 
while this is a default behavior we can always give explicit instruction and expect a better response so here let's say i'm asking explain the code to a senior architect see this time i'm not passing any code here this is my entire prompt but chat gpt knows the context so it knows that this was my first request and this is the chat gpt's response so chat gpt knows that this prompt is a continuation of the conversation that is already going on right let me hit enter and see this is magic chat gpt has explained our code in minute technical details to a senior architect how cool is that now you can very well imagine that nothing has happened because we have passed senior architect in our prompt right so let's change it this time so this time i'm going to ask someone who don't know programming at all it is worth noting the difference in responses when we asked chat gpt to explain the code to a senior architect it gave the response in minute technical details right it is thorough technical explanation not a friendly discussion but when we asked chat gpt to explain it to someone who don't know programming it has cut down on the technical details and this time the explanation is more friendlier and easy to understand isn't it basically depending upon your prompt you can fine tune the explanation as per your needs just specify who you are and accordingly chat gpt will explain it in your way while chat gpt can explain the entire program what we just did you can also ask it to explain a particular class statement or logic and it will do just fine for that for example so let's say in this program i understood everything just this section of the code i am not clear about so i'll just copy this i have already provided the entire code so it knows the context i'll just say explain this code to me code set or i'll say explain this statement and with this prompt you can expect an explanation of these lines in great technical details yeah Additionally chat gpt allows you to request explanations in different languages of your choice while retaining the technical terminology so you can very well ask explain the entire program in spanish let's say and so this is my prompt explain the entire program in spanish retaining the technical terms let's see let's let me send this message and with this we have got entire explanation of this program translated into spanish language I I don't speak Spanish but somebody who knows this language should be able to appreciate this explanation. Yes? All right you awesome people with these real world scenarios I believe it is safe to conclude if you encounter a section of your application that confuses you chat gpt's code explanation can help you gain clarity. If you are following this course I trust you are already familiar with programming and you must be having your favorite code repositories also. Why don't you do this? Any piece of code that you have ever used either written by you or somebody else maybe just take it 
and try to explore how much ChatGPT's code explanation feature is helpful for you. Well, that's it for now. Take good care of yourself. Thank you.